Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to talk about how we can generate barcodes against a specific text in a SharePoint using Power Automate. So, so recently, I came to one of the requirements where my uh, business sales teams wanted to have automatic uh, barcode generated for some specific text. So if you are also like part of any retail organization or any supply chain management organization where you would like to create one solution where the barcodes uh, can be generated automatically for your uh, any sales list which is being stored in SharePoint and would like to automate some stuff with the Power Automate. So I would be giving you the live example how you can have that entire end-to-end -end process in place. So you can see I am having I am on my SharePoint side. I have this one list that is sales barcode. So I have just named it as a test one. So probably let's say like you, if you can have one list where you are entering or managing all the sales record and would like to have some coupon number. So for example, this title is coupon number and for that specific coupon, coupon number, you would like to have barcode which can be uh, later on printed and that can be pasted on that uh, shipped item so in our demo i'll be just creating one record and that record would be having this coupon number let's say let's say the like coupon number is one two three four five and automatically this barcode image has to be generated whenever this item gets saved so this could be a huge huge form so whenever you are saving a form so in the back end one barcode image should be created so this is the entire automation process we are going to take a look. So for creating barcodes, I would like to use one, this API, which is uh, freely available via this zebra.com. So I would paste this uh, URL in the, in the description so that you can pick. So what does, what does this uh, uh, zebra uh, barcode generator provide? So it provides us a mechanism where we can have the 10,000 calls per day with a free plan. So this is what I'm going to use for our demo. So once you log into the Zebra side, you need to just register your address. So probably if you are working for a company, you can just register for a company. And then later on, you can just uh, go to this tool to generate barcode. So where you can see like how this barcode generation stuff works. So it's a get request and it would be uh, a call to an API. So I'll just show you. So this API would be like this, API zebra.com and then tools barcode generate. And you would be passing up this parameters. So this symbology is code 128 because we would like to generate a barcode that should be in the image form. The text, it would be the text which, uh, or coupon number which we would like to generate a barcode against. And include text means that uh, what text we would like to include in that image. So it's a pretty standard URL which we are going to create with a GET request. And obviously like to make that call, we would require API key. So once you register yourself uh, to, to this developer zebra.com, then it would give you one API key for your uh, newly registered app. So that API key you can use. So I have just marked that at XSX because I already have that API key. So these are prerequisite steps you would be doing because we are going to make a call to this API with this API key and get a, a barcode against that barcode number provided, right? And the second step would be we have to go to our connections and in the connections uh, custom connector, we have to create a custom connector so that we can give a call to this API, which we just talked about. So once your this uh, API is ready, and then you can just create, go to a new custom barcode connector. You can just give it a name, barcode generator, ABC, or like whatever, because I'm already having this. So that's why I'm just naming that as an ABC. Just showcase you like what steps would be involved. So you need to just give a, uh, this icon background call if you wish, wish to. And uh, because it's over the cloud, so we are not going to connect via on-premise gateway. So we are leaving that as is. And the host would be this API zebra.com. And in next you would go, it will ask for you the type of authentication. So you have to choose the API key authentication. In the parameter, you can just provide the label of the API key. So I would be just using this API key 
and in parameter name as well and this would be passed under the header so now we are good for this step and then we can go to the definition so under the definition we have to create a new action that is generate barcode and you can just uh, copy this again under the operation id and under the request we would be creating that from an import from sample and that's a get request so i can just copy this entire url so that it can just uh, take the parameters what i would like to pass so symbology i would be passing code 128 so i need to uh, do the, that in the parenthesis so that it can realize that it's a parameter so automatically this uh, request import from sample would recognize what are the parameters for my this uh, API call so I have appended that parenthesis and when I say import so import would this is the my request URL and the query in the query we are, I would be having three parameters so it automatically read that out so next step I just need to go to create a connector so at top so once you just click on this create connector so it will actually like start saving your this custom connector and would give you a next pane where you can just start testing your connector so it takes a while okay so custom connector we got we saved this now we can test this connector so i'll just directly go to this test and in this new connection so you can create a new connection for you this uh, thing so you can just you have to you need to just pass the api key so this api key which you got after registering your app under the zebra.com so this api key you would get from there so once you put that api key so i'm just copying that copying pasting that so pausing my screen over here right so if i just create that connection and I can just do testing so if I just refresh this connection you would start seeing that newly generated connection and with testing I can say like I need to get code 128 and barcode is let's say CCC123 or I can say have the same text so once I do the test operation so it should give me this output and that would be an output of an image so I would be getting image binary so you can see it's a PNG and the entire image so that means like our connection is good we can just close it so i'll just uh, refresh it and if by that custom avc connector i need to delete it because i'm already having that generate barcode connector so i just delete it i don't want to have garbage in my site so now i'm good to go to my flows and i will be creating one instant cloud flow and that cloud flow i would like to bind to this list so i'll say when item is created and i need to select that list first of all that side and then sales record is my list name sales barcode yeah and next step i'll be searching out my that barcode generate barcode action so i got my custom connector over here you can see I have this action of get barcode in symbology I can just provide barcode 122 uh, 128 and in text let's say like uh, it's uh, the barcode or the coupon barcode is something big let's say this one and the same thing I would like to include it in the text when the image should be created so it's optional if you wish to show the barcode in the image as well uh, the barcode text then you can have it otherwise you can just skip it as well so once we get this uh, action executed what we would be getting an image file i need to store that image file in sharepoint so i'll just quickly say create file and i will be selecting again my site and i wish to move that directly to share document name of the file i'll say like title dot png so whatever title we are having and the content we would be choosing the content from this previous get barcode uh, action so we got this file created now we have to update point list back 
I'll be using update item and list this PFX with the list name as sales barcode and not the file identifier. Yeah, item identifier in the title. I'll just set that in barcode. Now I would be constructing an HTML so that would actually would be having this. Uh, the file name which we just created in SharePoint. So I'll just go to my this share documents so that I can just copy the path instead of typing it and slash and the file name which we just created dynamically just in previous steps. So I'll just choose title dot png and closing this tag. All right. So I created this uh, HTML because my this column is this uh, multi-line text with allowing HTML and the uh, images inside it. So I will just save my flow over here. And I'll just provide a name to it. So sales coupon barcode for example. I'll just save it and now I'm going to test it with a new record. So consider yourself as a, uh, some sales guy which would be filling out this entire form and let's say this title field is coupon number or some some let's say item number or item text. So we would like to generate barcode against it. So I'll just say uh, let's say like this is a bar, uh, this title or the coupon code and I would like to have that barcode generated for this. So I'm just clicking save and I'll just wait for my flow to run. Okay, so my flow is running. I just click on it. So it ran successfully. So it must have created the file inside my, this document library. I can just scroll down. Yes, I have this image and it must have updated my item as well okay so i got this barcode image created via my flow so this is end to end uh, this automatic barcode generation process so i think like a barcode or the qr codes are the normal way of like entering or like extracting the data so probably you may come across this scenario where you would like to generate the barcodes automatically so whenever some item or the sales forms get saved, so probably this is a video where you would like to make a reference to. And uh, I would just uh, uh, add up, I mean, like for this develop, the developer zebra.com. So this is a 10,000 per call. So I believe like uh, with this free package, you would be all set. So if you wish to like uh, have the custom or the uh, packages for you, if you are thinking that number of calls would be more than that, and probably you can just have a paid version of it. So that's it for today's video. If you like it, do subscribe my channel and also like drop your comments. Thanks for today.